Hello guys, welcome to another section of the Forex Beginner course. So we just talked about the uh, times and section to trade Forex. I think talking about the worst times to trade Forex too is quite important as a beginner. Um, basically the market opens on Sunday so there's no point you can trade on Sunday. The market opens 10 p.m. on Sunday. But some days, uh, Fridays, uh, after New York section, that's after US section, the market slowly uh, goes down. For me, what I do in my everyday life is that once I wake up in the morning, 4 a.m., I start looking out for setups. I know I should take my trade between 7 a.m. and uh, from 7 a.m. I start taking trades and I, I end the day because I'm a day trader. So I stop trading by... 4 p.m. my time. Once it's 4 p.m., I'm done. I'm not taking any trade. Except maybe there is a news event that will make the market to move. Well, from 4 p.m. my time, I'm done trading I'm, and I'm not taking any trade. So that's it. So, but on Friday, after the US section, the market uh, slow, slowly goes down. Volatility dies down and it's still the same thing every day. After 4 to 5 p.m., most of the time, the market doesn't move well. And then holiday period, holiday season like this, uh, Christmas and New Year season. I stopped trading second week of December uh, last year. So I stopped basically, I stopped trading basically second week of December and I will resume second week of January. So because of the holiday season and the festive season, the market is not really moving that well. So everybody has traveled, people have taken breaks. And uh, most businesses are on vacation, and so maybe we went on vacation, and most businesses are just uh, cool. So events, the market is not really moving the way it should. We're just seeing ranging markets all through the chart, and then major news events. You don't want to get whips on for beginners. You don't want to trade most of the uh, news I just showed you, especially the NFP, the CPI. You don't want to trade in news as a beginner. Sometimes. Uh, most of the time you just lose money and uh, you don't want to do that oh, okay this one is a doing american idol <laughs> those are some uh, events too but these are the ones i've explained and you need to pay attention to those ones all right so how we make money in forex okay so forex you buy and sell currencies that's it so let me give an example now I'm in Nigeria currently and uh, let's say I want to trade UXD NGN that means UX dollar to Nigerian currency currently UX dollar is trading at the rate of 745 Naira to a dollar all right so it's currently trading at this price so let's say as of two years ago, uh, UXD NGN was trading at. Um, okay, let me just work with what I can remember. As of 2019, let me work with what I could remember. As of 2019, uh, dollar to naira was 360. And as of 2022, it ended at 745. So now, this is how we make uh, make money in Forex. Like I said, it's foreign exchange. You're just exchanging two currencies, making money while the, the prices changes, okay? If, as of 2019, I bought UXD and GN at 360, let's say I bought, uh, I bought UX dollar. I bought $1,000 at... 360,000 Naira, right? So I bought a thousand dollars of uh, UX dollar with 360,000 Naira of my currency. Okay, so and I held this trade, I held my dollar for two, three years that's 2019 to 2022 that's uh three years right so and december 2022 dollar is currently trading at 745 
uh, Naira to a dollar. So let's say I bought and I've been holding the trade and today the price has increased. So me buying, I'm expecting the price to, to go higher, right? So as of 2022, if I exchange my dollar back to Naira, that means I'm selling my dollar to get Naira. I'm going to be having 745,000 Naira. So make the difference. 745 minus uh, 3, uh, 600. So how much did I make? So let's just calculate and see what uh, I would have made as a forex trader or <laughs> a financial investor. So 745 minus 3, 600. So I made about 385,000 Naira in profit. 100% return on investment. Just trading foreign currencies. So this is basically what happens on paper as I'm showing you. And that's what we do digitally. All right. On our mobile phone and on our laptop. So we buy, you could buy Euro USD. That means you could buy Euro against dollar. And say Euro USD uh, is going to euro is going to increase against dollar over time and you could hold the trade for like two hours if the price increases you're making money so now i'm going to be teaching you what it's going to help you make the money it, it, it involves pips it involves pips and it involves lot size so i'm going to be teaching you all how we do that between uh, using pips and lot size and the leverage and everything how you can actually make money so the thing about forex is that while the market is going in your direction your money is increasing as it's going your money is increasing and if it's going against you uh you're losing money but you, ha you should have a level where you're going to go out of the market all right so now the same way this is for buying the same way for selling let's say usd ngn uh we're going to be having election in nigeria on as of 2023 and let's say i'm expecting this is fundamental analysis now dollar is currently 745 okay to uh naira so let's say i want to i'm betting that the presidential candidate that is going to win the election will be a competent person that is going to increase the economy of uh, nigeria and then naira is going to gain value against dollar and that is going to make the price of uh, naira to dollar to drop so let's say one of the best presidential candidates wins the election and he comes in and in two years everything starts uh booming in nigeria and the price of dollar drops so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh buy more naira against dollar and as he's uh dropping down just like in forex as the price is dropping let's say after like three years uh uxd ngn it's selling at let's say 500 all right so if i bought more of naira against the dollar as the dollar price is dropping i am uh, making uh, money so as the price is reducing i'm making money so if it's 500 i'm going to minus the difference and just like that i hope you get the point so it's just i'm just using naira and dollar okay something most people i can relate with now and you can still do that for your own currency in your country looking at all the exchanges around the world so the same thing you have we have on euro as i could see uh uxd is going to rise against euro and the price is going to drop so i'm going to sell and as the price is dropping 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 i'm making money if it goes against me, if it starts increasing, I'm losing money. And that's how we uh, make money in Forex. So I'm going to talk about pips, lot size, and everything that makes it more lucrative and how beautiful it can be to trade Forex with those things. So that's what they actually explain here. So this is how we read Forex quotes. So we currencies are always quoted in pairs such as UPUSD or UXDJPY. So this, the first one is called the base currency and the second one is called the quotes currency. 
okay and this is the current price is trading at on JPUSD so that's uh, how it works so the base currency is the basis of the buy and or the sell order so if you buy euro USD it simply means you're buying the base currency and simultaneously selling the quotes currency all right so the caveman talk is like buy euro sell uh usd that's that's what it means if you're buying euro usd so the base currency uh it's responsible for everything all right so that's how we uh the forex it's uh we read the forex quotes and that will lead us to what we call long and short long means buying short means selling so you can say i want to go long on euro usd that means you want to buy euro usd i want to go short on euro usd that means i want to sell euro usd is that clear and um, that will lead us to what we call the bid and ask price this is the bid and ask price so all forex brokers they give us this bid and ask price uh, interchangeably uh, so the bid the bid price is at which your broker is willing to buy the base currency in exchange for your quote currency this means the bid is the best available price which your group your your which you the trader will sell to the market so the bid price is the price that uh, your broker is offering you that if you want to sell they are bidding to buy it at this rate you want to sell to them I hope you're not confused all right so the axe price is the price which your broker will sell the base currency in exchange for your quote currency so this means the axe price is the best available price at which you will buy from the market all right so another one for axe price is offer so let's say you want to buy the market like you want to buy euro USD. you're going to buy with this price are you seeing it now so as you're buying your broker is willing to sell that base currency to you so if i want to buy euro USD, i'll use this price so this is the price the broker is willing to sell for me that means i'm buying if i want to uh sell this is the price the broker is willing to buy from me and i'm going to sell from uh, i'm going to sell to him i hope it's clear all right so the difference between this bid and ask price is popularly known as spread and that is how the brokers make their money they just arbitrage the uh bid and ask price so the difference here for this one is uh this one is 56 this one is 58 so the difference here is like two so that's like two cent or two i don't know how they calculate that for the broker but the difference as you're taking that trade they'll cut it out and from their commission that's how they uh make their money they make their money through the spread the bid and ask price for the currencies so i'm sure i hope i've done justice to that and uh that's how we uh make money trading forex and that's for the bnx price so now i'm going to be going into pips and uh lot size and all those things i'm going to go back to my slide and i'm going to use that to explain so but i think that's enough for this uh the video is already long and i'm going to come back for the next section teaching you about pips lot size and how we actually calculate money made in forex so hope you're finding the video and the course insightful like i said drop a comment share like and subscribe see you on the next one